Hi, my name is Marie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I just have like a short, a short word, a short scripture. Today I want to talk about being called defensive and one thing that you can do if you're constantly being called defensive. I'm someone who's constantly being called defensive, normally by my family, so I think it's like funny. It's like, why would I be so defensive around my family? It was very frustrating for me because I felt like constantly like little things that I was saying was were being picked at and why? Like, but if I said anything, oh, you're being defensive. And like, yeah, sometimes critique is valid. Sometimes people have real things to say. But it's like, why am I having to hear this from you? Why are you telling me this? Because who are you? And it kind of spilled into other aspects of my life where it was hard for me to tell the difference between valid critique and people kind of attacking me for no reason. The reason that I had an emotional reaction to what people were saying to me was because a part of me believed that I was always in the wrong, that there was something wrong with me. And people pick up on that. Like, it's crazy. Like, people dead ass pick up on that. Like, people don't actually have a, a good sense of what's right, what's wrong, what's good what's bad. People only reflect back to you the feelings that you feel about yourself. Because I was starting to notice that now this year I've done like no work on changing my personality or myself. The only difference is that I take what people say less seriously and I have more confidence in myself and I know that I'm a bad bitch. And I've noticed that other people start treating me like I'm a bad bitch but when I was the same person, same cute, same personality, same looks, same everything, same smart, same everything but I felt like something was wrong with me, like deeply wrong with me, people would critique me more. And I can't tell if it's because I pay attention to the critiques less because they they mean less to me or because people are picking up on it but in some way my experience was reflecting my reality and my reality was reflecting my thoughts in myself so number one thing that i would do if you are constantly being called defensive you're constantly called you can't listen to critique maybe it's true maybe it's not okay we'll do another video about how to listen to critique okay for this video what i would say is i don't know how to say this without being canceled without having to figure out all the nuances but stop taking what people say so seriously about you Stop taking so seriously what people say about you. Stop taking what people say about you so seriously. And the reason is because, okay, let's say someone's really concerned for your well-being, da 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 to give you an intervention. Excluding those scenarios, just little scenarios where people are having little things to say about you here and there, having a little this, having a little that. It's like, so what? Do you know what I'm saying? If I'm not hurting someone, if I'm not this, that, so what? I will become the person that I'm supposed to be on my own time and that's really the number one thought i will become the person i'm supposed to be on my own freaking time so because of that you coming over here with your little oh you don't know how to stand up for yourself oh you don't know how to this maybe it's true okay but you telling me that especially from that judgmental tone that's really what it is the judgmental tone the condescending tone is not going to help me get better so if you're not really here to give me some constructive advice that will give me grounded steps to help me get better and further my life i don't know I don't, and i'm not going to take it seriously i'm not saying don't listen to advice don't listen to critique know the situations in which you want to hear advice okay and you can't work on everything at once you identify oh i want to be a better piano player okay so when my piano teacher gives me advice I'm gonna listen to it because I've chosen to look at this person as someone who I respect and I want their advice from. Okay, I'm trying to be, be better with friends. So my friend just told me, you, you're, I'm kind of selfish. Okay, this is a friend that I respect and trust and this is something I'm actively working on. But for little people here and there on the internet, on this, on that, uh, siblings, uh, friends, people who really just want to tell you advice because they think that you always listen, because that's me. I'm someone who always be listening to the advice people give me. So they, when they want to feel like they got something to give, when they want to feel, they come to me. Mm -hmm. What we going to do is reflect on ourselves okay and i had to all start doing this stop giving other people advice too because if i'm not trying to hear unsolicited advice and unsolicited critique why am i giving that to other people you know what i'm saying because again what i do reflects my reality reflects my beliefs everyone's gonna be who they are supposed to be unless they're a serial killer or something a narcissist whatever on their own time you're gonna be there in your own time okay so you don't have to be open and ready for critique at any point in your life you can love yourself as you are now knowing that you still have growth and further to go so i hope this video is helpful because i'm lucky speaking to myself right now but it's definitely something that i've learned and i've gotten more happy and more confident in myself not trying to always be listening sometimes people say things to me i just ignore them i did ass act like i didn't hear that shit 
because why am I hearing it for? You know what I mean? So no one is supposed to take in that much crit criticism anyway. So sometimes it can't be the case and sometimes it's from your parent and that's what's really hard and that's where I learned it from too is because I was so used to my parents criticizing me but I accepted it from everybody else and that was really hard. That was a journey of self-love and everything and growth and everything but sometimes especially when people you always be defensive when I feel like I need to defend myself I stop because at the very least I do not ever have to explain myself to anyone else because anyone can think about me what they want to think about me but I never have to explain myself to anyone else so I hope this video was helpful if you liked it please like and subscribe live your best life and I love y'all see you guys next time ciao